All right, hey everybody, uh, gonna do something a little fun uh, today. I got some comic book packs from the dollar store, Dollar Tree in specific. Uh, these come from Cards One. Each package has two comic books in it, as well as a little trading card, and an offer on the back to where if you send four proofs of purchase and uh, $4 for shipping and handling, they'll send you three comic books Guaranteed vintage, 25 years or older. Um, three to four weeks for delivery. So just want to let you know about that. And let's see what kind of comic books there are in these grab bags. I haven't gone through them. And they looked pretty fun because you can see uh, some of the cover. This one being a cable. Uh, so I'm going to split this into two videos because I did get 26 packages together. Uh, we'll, real quick reminder... For this week's contest, you can win the Star Wars comic books and a little Lego set. All you have to do is share a link um, to a YouTube video from the blog, any of the blog posts, whether it's this one or a different one. All you got to do is share that link, tag it with the hashtag TTGFeb for the Talking Geek February. You're entered to win the contest. Um, I'll be looking on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and LinkedIn for those shares. Okay. Let's get to the fun stuff. So bag number one, I could see it was cable and then something cross-gen on the back. So what we have here, we've got cable number five from Marvel Comics and then Sojourn number 13 from cross-gen and a little, little ad and collection thing, how to collect comics. Single issue price of four dollars. Exciting stuff. So it looks like a little advertisement from the people that put out the grab bags. Uh, cards one. Then let's see what trading card came in here. We've got Baby, give it up, Kvyat. New great adventure movie. So uh, we'll say I'm not familiar with this movie, but I do like collectibles and collecting things. All right, so let's put that one down. There were these two loose comics uh, that I got for a dollar, uh, again, at Dollar Tree. I'm sure they were part of a bag that somebody opened or got torn. Got a Robotech, New Generation, number 21, and then Doctor Strange, number 55. All right, another exciting one here. I could tell it's Daredevil, the man without fear. And then I was very intrigued by the one I could see through the back. Big Bang Comics, number two. Throwback uh, with the art style. Uh, of course, it is a later comic. So it's priced at one ninety five, but you can see it's somebody fighting the Nazis. So that's always exciting. Got another card in here. Don't. It's their soul. Gonna have to watch this movie and see what all these cards are about. Alright, it looks like we got some G.I. Joe in this one, and then some Valiant item in the back. Yep, Magnus Robot Fighter, number 30 in the back. These are all in good condition. I'm very happy with that. And then G.I. Joe Sigma 6, as seen on 4Kids TV. Sigma 6, uh, number 6. More dinosaur cards. Family of Brontos. I do like dinosaurs. They're always fun. Alright. Tomb Raider. And some more cross gen. So I've got Tomb Raider here, number 41 from Top Cow Image here. And then Crux from Cross Gen. Have never read Crux or heard of that one. So each of these bags was just a dollar. Again, went down to Dollar Tree, picked them up. They're all put out by Cards One. 
Now, to comp books, not worth that much in all honesty. Probably pick them up at a dollar bin someplace else or 25 cent bin at a, a half price books on the weekend when they do their sales. But there's also a lot of fun just finding out what you get. So I've got two cross gens here. Way of the Rat number one. Got a number one. And then the first, number 18. And more, more pyrotechnics from the movie. Now, like I said, I will be splitting this into two different videos uh, just because there are so many bags and I don't want the videos to go on too terribly long. So I only bore you for a few minutes at a time. Uh, in this bag, I've got Common Grounds number four. I like, I like the art on this cover. Common Grounds number four. I like that art style. And then Mystic number three. A lot of cross-gen in here. Ooh, this card's got the red border on it. All right, now this next bag also has that same Common Grounds issue in it, but I could tell it was a different comic in the back, and it is Comico Next Man number two. Uh, I could tell, uh, I, I tried to get as many different ones as possible. More family brontos. Tried to get as many different bags as possible, but uh, I knew there'd be some duplication in them. All right, the Race Warrior, America's Racing Comic Book special feature. It's number five. Looks like this was a weekly series that had 38 issues total. And look at that, lucky me. It says collectors right on the front. I'm in the money. More Common Grounds. This is Common Grounds number three, and again, I just like that art style. I'm definitely going to be seeing who's responsible for that. Oh, this one's a very different card inside this bag. This is from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. They're coming out with a new one soon. It's Rocky. This is exciting stuff. Uh, my wife is going to love that card. She's a bigger Power Rangers fan than I am. Uh, watched all the time growing up and everything, but if we compared our wardrobes, she definitely has more Power Rangers short shirts than I do. Hmm. I could tell from the cover, just from inside the bag, that I like the art on this one. Let's see what we have here. Battle of the Planets, number six. I like that. And then Cyber Force number eight. Image comic right there. Image being the third largest comic book company right now, I believe. Right behind Marvel and DC. All right. More of the same title. We've got Battle of the Planets number five. Really liking that artwork also. And then another... Mystic number three. More baby cards. And then this will be the final bag for today. Very excited about this one though. I've got the Battle of the Planets, which I'm really digging the artwork of. This one's number two. Battle of the Planets number two, and then Union number one, which I actually think I need for my personal collection. I have to double check on what other Union ones I have. I think I have number zero and number two that I got in the collection. And then, oh, look at this. It's a vertical card rather than all the horizontal ones that we've seen from Baby exciting stuff. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, check out your Dollar Tree if you like this. I'm going to be checking out some other dollar stores. This is the first time I'd seen comic books like this at a dollar store outside of the comic book settings. You know, I, I love going through 
dollar bins at comics and 50 cent bins, 25 cent bins, whatever they may be, comic book stores, used book stores, antique malls, that's all fun. But seeing these new in a package in good condition uh, coming to a Dollar Tree, I, I thought that was pretty exciting and I could not pass it up. Thank you very much.